then start to the warm up. It's our nice 30 minutes. We're going to do a pure Pilates class, working through the whole body, doing some basics just to kind of make sure we're really activating the right muscles. Arms out to the side and let's roll those shoulders. Breathing out. That's it. Loosening off the rotator cuff. Nice, and then big circles. We're gonna get you ready for your busy days. Shoulders down and back as you take this, don't hunch them. All right, let's go start with our cactus. Standing up nice and tall, take a big deep breath in. Arms up and breathing out. You wanna squeeze your elbows into your waist, spread those fingers, lifting up your chest. Breathing in, arms up, and breathing out as you stretch forward. If your hamstrings aren't long enough, you can bend your knees because I want your back nice and flat. And then folding down to the floor. Relax the head and on a breath out, curling up. One vertebra at a time. Very nice. Let's go for two more. Breathing in and out. Lifting up that chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Breathing in and breathing out as you stretch, pull that tummy in away from the floor and folding down. And curling up, stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other. Slide those shoulders down and back and head comes up last. Good, one more, then we're gonna stretch on the ground. Breathing in and out. Really get that extension in your thoracic spine. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out, stretch. Reach for the wall in front of you. And folding down. Coming down onto your knees. Put your left leg in front, knee over your ankle. Slide your back leg back, hands on the floor. And we're going to roll those hips side to side. Loosening off the hip capsule. There we go, nice. And from here, taking that leg back, taking your bum back, straightening that front knee. And coming forward, lift your chest. Breathing out. Straight, feel it all the way from that insertion. Three more, we're going for five, stretching it back. If you need to move your hands back, absolutely can, just make sure you get this knee straight. Lift your chest at the end, dig that heel in. Nice, one more. And back. Great job, let's change sides. Knee over ankle, hands on the floor, slide that back leg back. And let's go side to side, rotating those hips. Nice work. Taking your bum back, stretch that front leg. And coming forward. Great job, breathing out, dig that heel in, stretch. And forward. Let's go for three more. Stretching it back, we're nearly done with our warm up, but it's so important. Two, feel that stretch the whole way. Last one. Very nice, from here, take those knees behind you, on your hands and knees, lift up into a downward dog. Stretching. Think of getting your chest between your shoulders Thumb up to the air, and then walking those hands back towards your feet, and curling up. Very nice. All right, we're going to start with something slightly different, um, and I actually planned it because someone new was coming, but that's okay. We're going to practice weight transfer and getting that balance on your leg. So you're going to have your arms up to the ceiling, have your feet hip distance apart. 
So often people find balancing on one leg quite hard. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull your tummy in, arms up, shoulder blades down. Take your one, your weight over onto that one side. Really reach that arm up to the ceiling and then lift the leg. So you wanna grow nice and tall on that side. Then place it down, take the weight over. Now reach that arm up, don't lean over. Squeeze your bum. Make sure you're not kind of leaning over. Stretch and down. Take into the other side. Grow tall, grow tall, grow tall. So you should be activating your glute, activating your abs, lifting up. Let's do two more. Tummy pulled in. Nice and slow. Reach up. Grow tall. That's it. One more each side. And then we're going to actually do a standing single leg exercise. Really activate that glute. Feel your bum shaking. Last time. Stretch. Reach. Squeeze your bottom. Very nice. So that kind of sensation growing tall and lifting up is how you should feel when you stand on your one leg all the time. The temptation is to kind of hang on the joint. All right, from here, we're gonna stand on your right leg, arms up to the ceiling, about 45 degrees, have them in line with your back foot. We're gonna go into our standing single leg deadlift. So knees slightly bent on your standing leg. We're gonna breathe in, stretch to a capital T. Breathing out to come back up. Shoulder blades down and back. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Let's go for 10. Make sure you keep the activation of those shoulder blades. Tummy pulled in. Hinging at that hip. Nice. Breathing in. And out. Scooping those abs in. Make sure you can feel them working the whole time. We've got four more. Slide those shoulder blades away from the ears. Tummy pulled in. Breathing in. Reach. And out. Very nice. You want to try and get to that nice capital T position. Great job, let's go for one more. Shoulder blades down, squeeze those. Shoulder blades down, tummy in. And relax, shake out the arms. So your arms should get tired because you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. So don't just have your arms there. You wanna really pull them down so we're working that whole posterior chain. Standing on your left leg, other side. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, so tilting that pelvis. Bend that standing leg slightly, let's go. Breathing in and out. All the time activating the shoulder blade muscles, the tummy, the butt. Find a spot to focus. Nice work. We're going for 10. Breathing in and out, very nice. Find that balance. Use your arms to help you stretch your tummy in. Perfect, we've got four more, I think. Breathing in. And out. Shoulder blades, tummy, butt. My arms are getting tired holding them up here. Two more. Last one, and up. Very nice, shake out those arms, coming to lie on your side. Okay, we're gonna go into our tricep push-up. So, wrapping that underneath arm around your rib cage, hand on the floor, tummy pulled in, squeeze your inner thighs together. We're gonna breathe out, pushing up, and coming down, let's go. That's it. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Try and straighten that elbow. Perfect, tummy in. Breathe out as you push up, control it down. Nice. Very good. 
five more. Four. Keep those abs engaged the whole time. Three. Perfect. Good, last one. Very nice. From here, let's go into our butt. We're gonna bend those knees. So have your knees up in front of you, tummy pulled in. We're gonna go into our clam stinger. So for the clam stinger, we're gonna open the knees. Extend that leg, nice strong leg. Toes back together and close. Okay, let's go for 10. Tummy pulled in. Your hips stay facing forward. Don't let those hips roll back. Breathing out, squeeze your butt. Straight leg, toes and close, nice. Very good. Make sure your foot's going more so, if you're here, your leg should be going up at an angle, not in front of you. It's going up in line with your thigh. That's better. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for four. Nice work. Three. Squeeze, that butt should be burning. Two, hold it there, stretch from where it is. Good. Last one. Whew. Dropping those feet down, stretch your top leg out in line with your body. Keep that underneath leg there. Rotate the foot towards the floor from the hip. And from the hip, without hitching your waist, we're gonna lift up and down. Make sure it's not the waist moving, it's just below the hip. Tummy pulled in. Leg rotated down from the hip towards the floor, so we're working here. Let's go for 10. Nine, so just make sure you're not getting any movement in your waist. It's purely from below that hip joint. Breathing out as you lift, feel it burn. Great job, squeeze. For five, four, three, two, one. Well done. It's amazing how the simple stuff can just really burn. Okay, we're gonna stay on that side, we're going into a side plank. So from here, get that elbow directly under your shoulder. It feels like it's too close when you're lying down. Activate that rib cage, lifting up that rib cage, really thinking of pulling that shoulder down, either on your knees in a half side plank or top leg in front. Hook those feet together. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. Shoulder down and back. Let's go in five, three, two, one side plank. There we go. Cara, you're doing a full plank, so I take it it's too sore to do a side plank. That's perfect. Holding it there. Try and get your elbows more under your shoulders. Nose in front of your hands. Tummy pulled in. Very nice. Breathing out as you lift. Squeezes in the thighs. That's 30 seconds, 15 to go. Perfect. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out, shoulder blades down and back for five, three, two, one, and down. Awesome, coming on to your other side. Okay, we're gonna go into our side tricep push-up. So from here, take your underneath arm around your rib cage. Put the hand in line with your elbows, squeeze those inner thighs together, have your legs out straight. Tummy pulled in, let's go for 10. <sighs> Breathing out, try and straighten that arm. You wanna try and get all the way up if you can. Push, 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 there we go. <sighs> Breathe out, nice. Try and take that underneath arm off the floor. So wrap it around your rib cage so it's not helping you. Tummy in. That's it. Perfect. Three more. Keep those legs squeezed together. Two. 
One, beautiful. Bending those knees up in front of you. We're gonna go into our clam stinger. Stack that top hip in line with your underneath hips and make sure you might be able to get a little hand under your waist. Tummy pulled in, feet up. Let's go. Open, now extend the knee from there. So your leg stays in the same position. Squeeze. That's it, when you straighten that leg, make sure you pull that kneecap up so your quad is nice and strong. Breathing out. That's it. Four, keep those hips facing forward. Don't let them roll back. Tummy pulled in. So if your hands on your hip bones, put them inside so you can feel those abs working. Connected all the time. There we go, four more. Beautiful. Three. Squeeze. Two, perfect job, you should be feeding your butt. Last one. Nice work. Take the feet down to the ground, stretch that top leg out in line with your body. Lengthen it away, rotate the hip down towards the floor, up and down. So the most important thing is your hips stay facing forward and there's no sort of movement of the body. It's just from below that hip bone. Rotate that leg down towards the floor so your foot's pointing to the floor. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for 10. Breathing out. Feel it working here. Seven. Six. Ooh, it's burning. Four, tummy in. Three, two, one. And relax it down, sure. Very nice, all right, side plank. Or, or a straight normal plank. Elbow under your shoulder, lifting up that rib cage. Get your nose in front of your, if you're in a front plank, get your nose in front of your hands. So start setting up for a plank. Start on your knees, clasp your hands, set your nose forward, and then from there, step back. Okay. Right, for the side plank, top leg in front, hook those feet together, lifting up that rib cage, tummy pulled in, let's go. Squeeze and lift. Keep those abs engaged. Lifting up the hip, pushing that elbow into the floor, breathing out. Nice, that's 15 seconds, 30 to go. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out, squeeze. 20. Rotate that top hip slightly towards the floor, lift up those hips. We've got 10 seconds. Tummy pulled in, get your nose in front of your hands if you're on a front plank. Further. Five, three, two, one, and down. Very nice, guys. Well done. Okay, coming onto your back. We're going to go into a little bit of abs. Arms up to the ceiling. Legs in tabletop. Right. So from here, try and keep your knees over your hips. But you must be able to tilt that tailbone and keep your back flat. If you can't, or if you have back issues, pull the knees in a little bit closer. From here, we're gonna go into our dead bug. Stretch opposite arm and leg away, and back, tummy pulled in. When you reach it away, don't let your back leave the floor. Breathing in, back is glued to the floor. Arms stay up, just take one back. Tummy pulled in, tilt that coccyx to your nose. Let's go for five, four. So just keep the hands up there and take the one back. Three, two, opposite arm and leg away. And one. Very nice. Place the hands on the floor, keeping the legs up. Let's go into our leg swaps. Tilt that coccyx to your nose. Hip angle stays the same. You just hinge from the hip. Tap down and up, keeping your back glued to the floor. 
tummy really pulled in. As you lower that leg down, the temptation is for that coccyx to tip in your pelvis to move. You want to keep it dead still, using those abs. Let's go for five, tummy in. Four. Three. Two, beautiful. One. Place those feet down on the floor. Right, we're going to go into our pelvic curl. We're doing all our basics today. So get your heels, if you can, close enough to your bottom that you can feel them with your fingertips. The closer your heels are to the bottom, the more you work your glutes. The further away the feet are, you work your hamstrings. So from here, we're going to curl up. Breathing out, tuck that coccyx towards the ceiling, push through the heels as you lift up. Don't arch your back, keep that tilt in the tailbone so your pubic bone should be higher than your hip bones. And curling down, you want that posterior tilt. So start by curling up from the pubic bone, tilt it towards the ceiling. Imagine a piece of string pushing up. So you've got a tilt in your tailbone. Breathing out as you curl down, squeezing through that bum, pulling that belly button in. <sighs> Pushing through those heels, lifting up. So even when I'm at the top, I don't go all the way and arch my back. I've got that little tilt. That's it. Let's go for five more. <sighs> Pushing through those heels, curling down. Breathing out as you lift, scooping in those abs. Now, I don't often talk about the rib cage, but try and keep your rib cage down as well. Try not to let it flare out. You want to pull your rib cage down towards your hip bones. If that's too much to think about, don't worry about it. Let's go for two more. Scooping in, pushing through those heels, squeeze your bottom. Try and keep that posterior tilt. Try not to arch your back. Good, now hold it up here. Tummy pulled in. We're going to do little pulses, squeezing up, but keeping that tilt. So you're just squeezing a little bit extra in that bum. Squeeze up like that. Perfect. For 10, it's a little pulse. Nine, tummy in. So I've still got my tilt. Pubic bone is slightly higher than my hip bones. Good, four, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Now from here, we're gonna lift one leg up and place it down. Try and keep your hips steady. Push through the heel that's on the floor. Pull that belly button in, support your back. That's it, breathing out. Squeeze and lift. Tummy pulled in for five, four. Good, tilt that tailbone towards the ceiling. I want you to drop your hip bone slightly, Cara. Try and tilt your pelvis a little bit more. That's it. Two, one. Curling it down and hug those knees into your chest. Very nice. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more abs before we finish. Legs up to the ceiling. We're going to go into our scissors. If you can't get your legs dead straight, it's fine. Have your knees slightly bent. I've got my hands under my head just to lift my head a fraction. We're going to breathe in, lower one leg down, breathing out. You want to keep that low back glued to the floor. So only lower the leg as much as you can without letting your back leave the floor. Hips are down, breathing in. Keep those abs engaged. For five. Four. As you lower that leg, don't let your pelvis move. Three, tummy pulled in. Two. Last one. Very nice. Relax for a second. Hug those knees in. Right, we're going to go for our bicycles for a minute. So with the bicycles, the temptation is just to do this, but you actually want to go through a single leg stretch every time. So it's almost if I paused you, you'd land up here. 
and then here with your coccyx pulled towards your nose tummy pulled in okay let's go in three two one breathing out so it's nice big circles stretch those legs away more make sure that each time Kate lower your legs a little bit more get that single leg stretch here that's it tummy pulled in really lower it down keep your head down stretch very nice connect to those abs 30 seconds to go this is it then we're going to have a little stretch tummy pulled in breathing out 20 seconds that's it all the way don't lose those abs we've got 10 stretch the legs keep it up for five three two one relax those feet down onto the floor well done have your feet nice and wide and we're going to roll your knees side to side just stretching out that back stretching out those hips very nice rolling those knees relax completely you're not trying to hold anything in you're just letting them roll nice let's go into our figure of four stretch take your right leg cross it over your left you're going to put your hands through, pull that left thigh in towards you. That's it, feeling that right glute stretch. If you don't feel enough of a stretch, you can put your hands over your legs and pull them in. That's it. Nice, let's change sides. Take your left leg, left ankle onto right knee. Pull that leg in. Breathing out, pulling in as close as you can. Very good. Right, keep your left knee in at your chest, stretch that right leg down all the way. So just keep your left knee in and let's take it across, stretching out your low back. You want to try and keep your left arm out to the side, palm facing up shoulders down you want to get that knee towards the ground nice look at your left hand and it also helps keep you balanced a little bit very good coming back let's change legs take your right knee into your chest stretch out the left leg and pulling it across You want to try and get your knee down to the floor, shoulders down to the floor. Breathing out to stretch. Perfect. Coming back into the middle, hug both knees in, rock side to side. And curling up. Woo! Awesome job, guys. Thank you so much. What a great start to the day, you legends. That was nice and controlled. Have a fabulous Friday and we will see you next week.